Oh no. Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have the cartoon, and we have this beer that the punter brought over. Mm -hmm. This is Hockley 100. Hockley! So, Hockley Brewery in Orangeville, Ontario. Uh, mm -hmm. Originally, they just had their, uh, their stout, their black and tan, and... Did they actually have a pale? I don't think they did. Is it a pale or a dark? I think it was Hockley Dark. Yeah. Yeah, so they didn't actually yeah. even have a pale. No, I, th I think they did one later. It came in a little package with a bunch of barbecue recipes on the back. Yeah, yeah, barbecue yeah. Sauce There's three of them. Yeah, yeah. There's three yeah. cans. There's the black and tan, the, the stout, and... And the, and the dark. Yeah. They also made an amber. They yeah. made an amber afterwards. Mm -hmm. And, well, this is Hockley 100. Uh, so I'm guessing it's 100 calories. I'm thinking that's what it means. Like it's a 4.2% alcohol light beer. It doesn't say anything. No, it just says finest malts and hops. And yeah, Hockley Beer. I guess HockleyBeer.ca would tell us a little more, but I'm not going there. Nice and cold. Hmm. So the first time I had Hockley, I got Hockley Dark, and I bought it because I thought it said Hockey Dark. And oh right. <laughs> I was like, yeah, dark hockey. No, uh, let's, let's drink. Whoa. Oh, well, happy Canada Day to you, too. Uh, Della, who is that? Uh, Greg. <laughs> Let's call him Greg. 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 The Hamburg. So, yeah, I'm going with, uh, that's what it was. We, we We were discussing whether or not it would be a mild, but with the color, no. Yeah, definitely not. No. <laughs> Save a little bit in there for somebody else. Lots of carbonation. Oh. Yeah, it's bubbly. It's yellow. Yellow. <laughs> White head. It mm -hmm. looks like your average macro lager. Indeed. So, you think it's just a... Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, uh, bouger? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure this is a fucking bouger. <laughs> Smell it out of the can. Because, uh... Okay. Fart. <laughs> corn and cotton candy. Mm. Yeah, so the whole corn and cotton candy thing, I, I think, is definitely a... This is... This is definitely uh, it's a bougie beer yeah. in a fancy glass. I believe so. Classic. <laughs> fancy I gotta get my glass. pinky out. Let's go. Classic <laughs> bougie. Oh, that's not bad. Can <laughs> 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 oh, you bastards? I actually don't hate their other products. This is the best. Mm -hmm. All right. It's it's almost like paper. Weird sweet paper. Yeah, it's like somebody put <clears throat> oh, I get the like a little bit of oh. corn syrup on top of those wafers you get at the Catholic Church. Yeah, it does smell like farts. What? Yeah, yeah. And then out of the glass it smells like corn and cotton candy. It's very bad. Ah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Super bougie. It is bougie. Yeah, total it is bougie. Definitely bougie. <gasps> yeah, total bougie. That's uh, that's with a B, not an F. It's bougie, isn't? We're mispronouncing budget to sound fancy. <laughs> it's a bougie. Like toilet. Um, I don't want to toilet. <laughs> I think they probably have okay, to like so that's, uh, put out something that was. It is really unfortunate. Like so, yeah. corn. Oh, yeah, right? it is really unfortunate. Oh. Eventually, they had to put something out that was a corn soda. So, oh yeah, I mean, this oh, is. Uh, I'm this sad that I'm out of. Uh, I wouldn't even call this a corn soda. Though. This is. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like a paper soda. Yeah. It's just. Yeah. Weird. It's it's the first sip. The first sip was the worst. Mm. After you took your first sip, it's not as bad. But it's papery. It's oh, like they I got just, one sip. Oh. It's like they just took a whole bunch of <laughs> shit and put it in here because it's oh. heavy and thick. It's <laughs> weird tasting, and the taste dies pretty quickly. So, That's the only plus. They put out all their dark beers and everything first, <gasps> and then they're like, well, we gotta throw a fucking shit one out there. Was that you? Yep. Sh shite would be a compliment. <laughs> um, I don't know. Okay, it's definitely not the worst thing I've ever had. No, but it's, it's not the worst thing I've it, ever it, had. It was the worst thing I could possibly think of Hawkeye doing because I did so well before this. Um, <clears throat> you put that one out. Yeah, well, wow. That was a, that you know was, what? I, know. I got it. It has that gluten free aftertaste. Mm -hmm. it, it's like the sorghum aftertaste. That's what it is. <gasps> sorghum. That's, that's the reason it tastes sort of papery it, and yeah. has that weird sweet sour. Yeah, finish. you're right. God damn. <laughs> Maybe the well, if this is a gluten free beer, it's definitely not the worst one I've ever had. It's not though. It talks about using hops. Yeah. Uh, malt. Yeah. Well, then 
<laughs> you are <laughs> you made catering it. to people uh. that can have gluten. But want that, a gluten-free beer? wish they could drink gluten-free beer. So that, so that their friends this are This is a transition only... beer. No, no, it's not a transition beer. Real beer. This is for your, you that go out with your friend who's a celiac and you don't want him to feel as bad. So he <laughs> has his Le Messenger and you're drinking Hot Free 100. <laughs> uh, there you go. Why go out So can we just call this a gluten? Why bother? A gluten? A gluten. <laughs> <laughs> why bother? Um, yeah, I'm... Three out of ten? I won't, don't ever want to drink it again, but you know, it's not the worst yeah, thing I'm, out there. I am not going to go get, past Get a, get a 40 I mean, free, free, I got. Freeze, freeze is best, the best and, uh, I can do. At the LCBO, they're promoting this. They've got it all on a nice big statue stand right in the front, right? The big sign. Wow, they must have knew it was garbage because they're paying for advertising to get rid of it. I yeah. yeah. Shit. Um, but, <laughs> again, definitely, oh. I would actually, I would, I would take this over a Coors Light. Really? Or uh, Mill Street Organic. As far as beers that look like this color that I come across a lot, it's actually better than those. I believe it's two and But it's still only getting a three. I will take so. Coors Light any, any day of that. Yeah, fuck that. Coors it's Light for the win. For that one, <laughs> if, if, I wanted, if I wanted something that tasted better it, with his argument, I would go with this over the Coors Light. But if I wanted to support local instead of the corporation, sure, I could drink this, but... No, yeah... Just well, I don't see any scenario products. where see, exactly grab one of their but, other products. Well, you know what? Yeah. The black and tan isn't horrible. Love the stout's it. not horrible. The, the, the dark's yeah, not the bad. Dark's the great. amber's not bad. Love, love, love the dark. Love the dark. Anyway, so, anyway, well there you are. Guys, Bougie yeah. Glutton. Bougie. <laughs> <laughs>